Jersey's own Carly Lloyd is still one of the best soccer players in the world. Tina Servasio shows us why opponents should not underestimate her when she comes off the bench at this year's World Cup tournament. She's back. Carly Lloyd, the Delran, New Jersey native, is playing in her fourth FIFA Women's World Cup. Jersey people are, are uh, you know, brutally tough, and, um, you know, it's been, been quite a run. Lloyd has the most experience on the U.S. national team, having played in 18 World Cup matches, scoring seven goals, six in 2015, including a hat trick in the final. And yes, Lloyd is the oldest player on the team at 36. My age isn't a factor. I mean, you know, to be able to, to grind and, and play seven games, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm conditioned for that. Like I said, I'm, you know, the, the mind of a 36 year old but the body of a 26 year old but with age comes wisdom and a new approach Lloyd expanded on this in New York before leaving for France I want to enjoy time with my family I want to to really just kind of focus on just taking in every single day I think we as humans just often really forget to do that so I think being in the moment is you find yourself more successful staying in the moment will come in handy during this tournament because Lloyd will be in a different role the two-time FIFA Player of the Year will have moments where she won't be on the field. Her role is going to be to come off the bench, and I think she has a chip on her shoulder about that. I think she's excited to prove everyone wrong, to prove that she should be a starter. But Lloyd is definitely not happy about being a sub, according to Glenn Crooks, Lloyd's former college head coach at Rutgers. You know, at this stage in her career, she knows it's winding down. But she's also a little bit perturbed that she's not a starter in this World that Cup. That was my next question. And that's, that's not something that's, that sits well with her. Lloyd became a Rutgers University Hall of Famer under Crooks. Now a soccer journalist, the two remain close, talking and texting often. Crooks remembers the day he discovered Lloyd. Look, the first time I saw Carly was when she was a sophomore in high school, but it was not in a high school match. It was at Memorial Stadium in New Brunswick, and a club team was playing the Mexican national team. And uh, by the end of the game, the best player on the pitch was Carly Lloyd. I think Glenn and you know the coaches gave me the freedom to kind of express myself and be me. And I think that had that have not happened, um, you know, I wouldn't have been the player that I am today. No matter the circumstance, Lloyd is about winning at any cost. She is known to not want any of her family members or friends to attend her major tournament games. Her own fiance didn't go to the 2015 World Cup Finals in Canada. But now married three years, Lloyd says she may possibly have a ticket saved for him for the semifinal and final because that's exactly where Lloyd sees herself and the U.S. four weeks from now. Tina Servasio, Fox 5 News. Oh, wow.